had was to involve my fiance, Jenna, because truly this is the first time I'd ever written a song about uh, love before. Um, I would describe it as a uh, kind of a uh, gruesome love song, you know, with some uh, moments that describe in detail kind of the what's tough about being in love. But um, so the idea of having her involved was uh, just made sense. I couldn't imagine having another like love interest actress girl doing it. Um, and because uh, plus I've just been I've just been singing all these these love songs to Josh for so many years now it's just like I gotta start to shift my focus. My um my wife cooks a lot at home, which obviously is an amazing blessing. And not only that, but she's really good at it. Um, I've actually watched her do it a few times because if I any time I've ever attempted to cook, I look at the directions, I get out the measuring things. And I, you know, you follow it. And I, I'm convinced that the best cooks just have an intuition. They just know, I kind of feel like, and I'm watching her do this, and I'm realizing she's not looking at any directions. She's not really, she's all, she's considering it all as a suggestion, which she just kind of kindly, like, disagrees with sometimes, which blows my mind. And she just kind of puts it together, and at the end, it's amazing. Um which is what makes her so great at it. And yeah, on tour, it's a little harder to, you know, to have, you know, a kitchen with all the appliances and all her stuff. You know, you walk into to her kitchen, she knows where everything is and she could probably whip something up blindfolded. But um, so yeah, I, I do miss being able to do that. Um, I miss her being able to do that, I guess, <laughs> specifically. Is my armor, she's the tear in my heart. She's a carver, she's a butcher with a smile. Cut me farther than I've ever been. Can I talk about it for a second? 100%. Okay. Starting this career felt like I was standing at the edge of a, an ocean and I was given some supplies and they were like okay make a boat and i and i put this thing together and i wrapped it up and i built this boat and enough to start to float and we started going and found some more debris on the way and kind of built this thing and then before you know it i'm in this like tugboat sized thing and it's got a motor and we're going mm -hmm. uh and then um eventually things happen and I, i'm on a, i'm on a yacht and we're just flying it through this through this journey. And all the while, I think that some people would assume that my significant other in the process is in a smaller boat next to me, waiting for this boat to inevitably either wreck or run out of fuel. And when it does, I hop onto hers and we head off into the sunset. When actually what's happening is in relation to who she is to me, I've built this little tugboat thing and that's about, that's about as big as it ever got. And she is waiting for me to run out of gas <laughs> in a cruise ship. <laughs> and when that goes down, I've got this to pick me up. Mm -hmm. It's just a really weird way of saying that she's the best thing I've accomplished. Mm. And I can't wait to just lean on her. Like, Oof. It was my wife and I's anniversary yesterday, so happy for you, Jenna. I told her I would take her somewhere nice and I would wear something nice, and here we are. The song is for her, but I need your help. For your wife, Jenna, it's a culinary book. 
are those things that you can make? That's amazing. So this is a That's cookbook, awesome. cookbook uh, for my wife because she likes to cook, and so I can't wait to show her because I'm sure, I'm sure she'll have fun with this. Thank you. Let's uh, let's mm. talk about people love people love Jenna, your wife. Yes. They absolutely love her. Uh, do you think, like, do you? Was that a guy? There's a guy who really loves her out there. You may want to. We're gonna talk later, yeah. bro. <laughs> Uh, do you deserve her? Absolutely. You, yeah. <laughs> I've worked really hard. Because to me, I see like, I see you guys like, I don't know. I don't, knowing you for a while now, knowing you before even Jenna knew you, to me it's like a mixture of like if, if Pepsi and pickle juice mixed together. I'm not sure it works, does it? And, but it does, obviously. Which one was, it was that? It was pickle juice. Pickle juice. Yeah. Got it. yeah. <laughs> Why? Again, how would you not know my word was pickle juice? I don't know. I, you know, I saw, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> Pepsi and pickle juice is a thing you guys do here in New Albany. No. Um, it's like healthy for you or something. Um, no, Jenna and I, we obviously, we're, we've been married for a few years now. Have a great time. She is constantly trying to feed me healthy things. Um, like with sticks in it and stuff, and um, fiddle sticks. Fiddle sticks. It's a callback. That wasn't a very good callback. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> you just, just said what was said previously. Um, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but see, she's always trying to, you know, hey, you want mac and cheese, or do you want a burger, or you know, what do you want? She loves to cook. It's her one of her passions. Um, but she also likes to trick me and lie to me about what it is she's actually serving me. And mac and cheese, you know, I grew up with mac and cheese. That sounds delicious. And Great. I turn out it's like, it's not really cheese. Uh huh. And I guess it's not really mac, which whatever that ingredient is, I'm missing that one. Um, I think, I think I'm pretty sure it's a pasta of some sort. Yeah, and, and um, so I, I enjoy eating most of the things she makes me because I am trying to be healthier. Um, but a lot of times she'll make me brownies with sticks in them and I'll be like, oh no, I can't today. <laughs> I know what you wanted. Because it's locked on. <laughs> I don't know. You acted it out instead I know. of saying it. I feel like that's better. That's good. That's fantastic. Everybody, that's Tyler Joseph. Thank you. girls that were cool with each other. Oh, like so that they were friends with each other. Yeah. Then. Yeah. And so um lucky for me I found my wife is the friendliest person in the world. So as long as, as Josh gets someone pretty friendly, I think we're good on that. Uh for me, I man, I I don't know if I have a weird fear other than I guess I'm not very like um it's uh, it's hard for me to try new foods. <laughs> but see, it's not like a fear as much as it's like a, I'm hungry and I want to take advantage of this moment with something I know is going to hit the spot. Like, I'm not really into the whole, like, Magellan exploration side of, <laughs> of the culinary thing that my wife loves to, like, oh, that, I've never seen that before. Looks and smells terrible. Let's try it. <laughs> not into that. Sorry. Hi, uh, my name's Dominique, and my question is, what are y'all's top three favorite desserts that Jenna makes? That Jenna makes? Aw. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I mean, you don't really, I'm the one that, <laughs> she does make cookies a lot. She does. I enjoy partaking. She's a cookie. What kind? Uh, what kind? If it were up to her, I'm sure it would be way more exotic than what I would prefer. I think she'd like want it to be like, well, she likes health stuff. Mm -hmm. So that kind of means she likes tricking me into eating <laughs> things I don't know. She's like, try this cookie. And I'm like, okay, cookie. I'm familiar. It's good, it's weird. I mean, yeah, it's good, it's great. You know, your first, you want, you know, obviously she made something, you want it to be good. Um, and then she says, it's got figs in it. 
well, that's, that's why I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so she's always trying to find some combination of, I don't know, replacement, like healthy. But then there are a lot, plenty of times where she'll, she'll just go, go yard and just make it uh, amazing uh, and unhealthy. And so, yeah, she's done donuts and pies and a bunch of stuff. So it's a lot. Oh, she will, I'm sorry, she will, she does something interesting where there's certain desserts I like with ice cream, and even to the point where I'll be like, I'm fine, if we don't have ice cream, I'm fine, and I just didn't know this, but she just, I didn't know you could make ice cream that quickly, she'd be like, oh, I'll just make some ice cream, I'm like, what, isn't that hard? <laughs> and then a few minutes later, we have ice cream, she just made it, I don't even know how it works, but, yeah, yeah, we're, we're up pretty late. We don't really come alive until 3 p.m., so that means 3 a.m. is prime for ice cream making. Anyway. Uh, well, a kind of silly question. How do you feel in France? It feels good. I got engaged in France to oh, my wife. Oh, fiancé. Really? Yeah. Fiancé en France. Was it in Paris? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, when? Tell us more about it, was it. On a, it was on a Ferris wheel. Oh. Oh, c'était sur une grande roue? Yeah. Oh, uh, c'était oh, à Concorde. Fiancé, fiancé sur la place de la Concorde. Why did you choose France for that? Pourquoi est-ce que tu as choisi la France pour faire ça? No, I, I thought that that would be a special moment just to be in Paris. And... Did you put a knee on the ground? Yeah, man, you have to. Really? Yes. Yeah, il a mis yeah, that's un the way to do it. Sur le sol yeah, I had the ring and I didn't know what to do with the ring because I didn't want to put it in my pocket and lose it. So I put it in my sock. Yeah, I had it in my sock. We were walking around Paris and we finally got to this Ferris wheel. I was just walking and all I could think of was like, how expensive <laughs> my socks were. Il avait yeah. sorti de la boîte, il laissait trimballer dans Paris avec la bague dans sa chaussette jusqu'au moment où il l'a sorti pour demander sa femme en mariage. Quand vous sentez dans un concert comme celui-ci It's easier than proposing. <laughs> C'est yeah. plus facile que de faire une demande en mariage. Yeah. Um, um, I guess it's kind of like two in one question. Can I ask a question about Jenna? There's one. <laughs> no, that was one already. That was, that was the first question. Oh I do what I want. I'm punk rock. Okay. <laughs> um, sure. How is like is Jenna here today with you? Uh, my wife. Her name is Jenna. We yesterday was seven months we were married. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Is that really you? Really congr oh. congratulate on seven months? <laughs> yes. <sort of> thing. <coughs> um, yeah. No, she she's been on the road with us. And it's been a lot of fun having her for me. So, and uh, she, she actually does a really good job, um, you know, taking care of Josh and I in different set settings. Like, you know, she'll a lot of times it's hard to get the right type of food, or the you know, well, we don't take care of our bodies very well, and we don't eat very well, and all of a sudden we have this kind of very nurturing spirit on the road who's like, you should eat that, you should eat this, and so kind of changing our the way we do things. And, so, but no, yeah, she's here in town today, so. How do you feel about yourself? <laughs> the sun is out and I'm feeling okay. I hope you. Oh my god, oh my gosh. <laughs> Give me that. All right, ready? Oh, man, girl, you got some skills. <laughs>